Peppa's Mermaid Adventure Peppa and Rebecca love to play mermaids. Sometimes I wish I were a mermaid, says Rebecca. I'd love to have a shiny tail and swim underwater every day, Peppa replies. That gives Rebecca an idea. Let's have an under-the-sea party, she says. Peppa and Rebecca make some under-the-sea party invitations. They use lots and lots of glitter. Very shiny, says Daddy Pig. Just like mermaids' tails, replies Peppa. Then Peppa and Susie hand out the invitations. The party is tomorrow, Peppa says. Please come. That night, Peppa is very excited. Remember, Peppa, the party is in two days, Mummy Pig reminds her. But I told everyone the party is tomorrow, says Peppa. Oh no, says Mummy Pig. We forgot to put the date on the invitations. Mummy Pig makes a phone call. Then there is a knock at the door. It's Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit, emergency party planner and entertainer extraordinaire, says Miss Rabbit. I hear you're in need of an under-the-sea party. Yes, says Daddy Pig, for tomorrow. No problem, replies Miss Rabbit. You go to bed. I've got this. In the morning, Peppa and her family wake up and go downstairs. Their house has been transformed into an underwater wonderland. Look, George, gasps Peppa. There's a beach and shells. Peppa finds some costumes. Oh, she squeals in delight. This mermaid costume has the shiniest tail I have ever seen. The fridge is full of tasty food. There are crab-shaped treats and starfish-shaped sandwiches. Soon the guests arrive. They are all dressed in underwater costumes. Hello, says Peppa. I'm Peppa, the mermaid, and this is George the Crab. Welcome to our under-the-sea home. Once everyone is inside, it is time for the underwater adventure to begin. First, Miss Rabbit asks the children to wiggle their toes in the sand. Ooh, says Peppa. It feels all tickly. Next, Miss Rabbit hands out seashells. Put the shells to your ears and tell me what you can hear, she says. Then Miss Rabbit gives them some smelly toy fish. Take a good sniff. What can you smell? she asks. Ugh, shout the children. These smell fishy. When they are done, Miss Rabbit teaches the children how to swance. It's swimming and dancing at the same time, Miss Rabbit says. She waves her arms. The children do the same thing. He, he, he. The children love to swance. Peppa is having so much fun, she imagines that she and Rebecca are under the sea. There's all sorts of things, like a seahorse, stingray, and fish. Being a mermaid is amazing, Daddy, cries Peppa. Can we have another under the sea party next week? Next week? Daddy Pig repeats. Maybe he'll need to call Miss Rabbit. Party cleanup extraordinaire.